We're at the end of the story, I'm afraid. I have uh, cleared the whole drainage behind me as best I could. If he made it farther than that, he's gonna, he'll be around for a while. Hopefully it'll next year. Man, I don't even, trying to think back when there was even any doubt in my mind. I don't know, I guess when I saw that arrow bounce up and down basically in them, I was concerned. But man, I hit right where I was aiming at, if anything, maybe two inches high. So, the bull had no idea I was there. I don't know if he jumped the string. I made a good shot, I know I did. And I'm, those of you that know me know that I'm not too proud to admit when I make a bad shot. But this one was good. I don't know. It may have been that he just had, you know, a leg forward or something. Man, I don't know. 14 inches of penetration at most. 10 on the low side. It's hard for me to figure out what the deal is. I get, man. In any case, game's over. I've got about a four mile walk back up around this backside where I'm gonna head to. My camp's actually over there, but I'm gonna, let's see if I can bring home a cow for me and my kiddos. I hope so. <laughs> Man, I spent a lot of resources getting to this point. And it hasn't been all money. It's just been a lot of, a lot of hard work, a lot of training, some money, mostly selling things I had to scrape together when I needed to to pull this off. I had three tags in my pocket, and so far I've got none full. Likelihood is I won't have any. <clears throat> There's no bugling going on anywhere. I haven't heard one all day. Not that I've been chasing. I've been looking for my bull, but it's kind of shocking to me like the whole world just shut down. I think it's been four days of kind of this brutal weather. You hear one or two there at night last night and that was about it. So I'll go back to actually where I killed that bull at. <laughs> where I shot that bull at. There's a band of cows that I saw up there this morning with a couple smaller bulls. There's a about 285 by 5 in there. Pretty good 5 by 5 actually, but it's a young bull. I don't know. The older I get, the more I think about things like this, and that was my chance. I had my chance. And it didn't work out so well for me. So I'm not going to take a life of another bull. That's not in that program. There'll be one here next year. Maybe this guy will be here next year that I shot. I know I'll know it because. Ever get a chance to get the hide off them, it'll be in there. I know I wouldn't have chosen anything different for the equipment I had either. I hit them with a ton of force with a bow that's 350 IBO and a helix broadhead, brass inserts on a rampage, aerovein twos spinning and the helix spinning in the meat and pulverizing bone like it should have. I just can't imagine a animal with a broken shoulder blade going as far as this one in theory has. Just goes to show you the best of the best equipment isn't sometimes enough. I'm anxious to figure out what my kinetic energy is because it's approaching that of actually I'm sure it's probably heavier than what a lot of people shoot African game with. It's got to be in that 90 um, foot pound range or something like that. I don't know the formula off the top of my head, so I can't calculate it, but I think I have a 480, can't remember, 460 or 480 grain arrow, 71 pounds at uh, 275, 276 feet per second. At the very least, it's upper 80s. It's a lot of kinetic energy <laughs> on a very impressive broadhead, just a two-blader, so I'm just uh, shocked. Disappointed in anything other than myself. I should have, uh, <laughs> or what I would have done different actually. I didn't 
same thing. Same thing I did. Aim a little lower maybe, but obviously. But man, I really thought I was money all day long. So hopefully, I'm thinking he'll live to uh, meet me again next year. And I'll make a promise right now. I'm coming back to this canyon and I'm gonna find him if he's here. If nobody else gets him in rifle season. Can't imagine there's a whole lot of bow hunters out right now. Season I think ends on the 15th or something for bow. I don't I don't know. I gotta go home though. See my kiddos. See some smiles. Talk to people. Instead of my phone like it's my little Wilson. It's been an epic elk season. Deer has already started at home. I don't have any target animals there. I'm gonna have a lot of public land this year. I'm sure I'll redeem myself. Find a good buck somewhere. In the meantime, I'm gonna head over to this mountain and see if I can put a little meat on my back. And if not, no sweat. Okay, so without anything talking or anything really moving hardly, everything's huddled up underneath these pines. I don't know what my odds are. Every day until the past two or three days. Well, an extra day I could have. I guess one day, three days ago, I wouldn't have been able to shoot anything. But otherwise, I've been able to shoot elk the whole time since I've gotten to Montana. So it's been an awesome adventure. I did another wrap up or summary later. I still love this game.